last week's entries aside, it's been a great year and we've had a lot of fun. But unfortunately, we've been gaining two new hosts, losing Korean for an extended period of time, and burning ourselves out on blue stacks. So between all those things, we have barely put a dent in our backlog, which brings us to today's topic. Since I do have a second one. Chris were maybe here, but we never really know if they are coming or not. Um, Adam had the great <laughs> idea to have a backup game. And yes. uh, well, I think that's, that was a very good idea. Yeah, I always have a backup just in case. Um, I tend to over prepare. Uh, so, oh, my, go on. Yeah, yeah. So, my backup <laughs> game is Dot Hack GU Last Recode. And this is another game where. I got this actually the same year that I got Death Stranding for Christmas. So I got both of these games for Christmas 2019, and both of them are still sitting in the backlog. So these are actually, I think, the last two physical games that I have. Uh, I don't think I've re I don't think I've gotten a physical game since these two. I think these were the last two times I got a physical game. Uh, but anyway, Dot Hack GU Last Street Code, if you're unfamiliar with dot hack it's a franchise that started way back in i guess the early 2000s maybe the late 90s i think the early 2000s and there was a show dot hack sign and basically this is the original sword art online so if you know for people who have been playing sword art or people who like sword art online dot hack did this first okay and i don't even think they're the first ones to really do this idea because i i don't remember i i I think it might have come out before The Matrix, but I'm not sure. But basically the idea is there is a uh, an online game called The World. And the what happens is something something goes wrong with it. I don't remember exactly what, but something goes wrong with it. And then they basically have to shut it down and then release The World 2. And so all these people are playing this game, but then there's this virus or there's this thing in the game that what will happen is the player goes comatose and they are stuck as a player in the game, in a as a character in the game. And in the original show, the main character, the entire show is basically done within the game and the main character, uh, Tsubaka, I think is the name, cannot oh, log out of the game. Too. Okay. Huh? No, it's not Kirito. It's not Kirito no. uh, Tsubaka <laughs> is, uh, is, is stuck in the game, but they don't realize that they are in a game. To them, this is the real world. So it's kind of an isekai oh. at the same time. So everybody else realizes this is a game, but then they notice that this one player is logged in 24 hours a day, and you know they're, they're kind of wondering it's why obscure. do people... like Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a mystery as to figuring out uh, why is this person... Because at the time, it's just the one person stuck in the game. And so the mystery is trying to figure out why is this person stuck in the game, why can't they leave? Who are they in the real world? Uh, and then, so they started with dot hack sign, and then you had dot hack uh, liminality, and then they had the original dot hack games. And then they went to dot hack roots, which was kind of a reboot of the system. And and dot hack gu uh, follows the characters from the dot hack roots show. And so which one are you talking about now? So this one is this one is the dot hack. GU follows the second show, basically. And what happens was this was originally a PS2 game. Uh, so there was an original trilogy. The characters solved the problem, and then something went wrong with the world again. Then you get Dot Hack GU, and they remade the second trilogy. But Last Recode is actually a compilation of all three games. So for the price of one game, you get all three PS2 games. And that's part of the reason. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I put it off was because, like, for when, um, I remember when a long time ago, Mass Effect 2 was free on PS Plus. And I figured, you know what, I'm going to play through the trilogy. So I bought Mass Effect 1 and Mass Effect 3, and I played through all three games back to back. And it took a long time. And so I'm like, I oh, too. It's cool. yeah, 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 it was great. But I'm like, do I really want to invest the time? You know, so like normally I would do it, but with streaming, I'm like, do people really want to watch me stream three games in a row from the same franchise? It's going to take forever. 
Um, you are right to take, you know, to play on your own time as well. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's one of those things. No, I know, I know, I know. And this one was definitely one of the ones where I would be not streaming the entire story because that would take forever. I would just stream on my normal days and wherever I am. I just have to, you know, people have to accept the fact that they missed part of the story. Uh, but yeah, so the game's kind of interesting because these games were designed as this was around the time I think the first games came out around the t same time as uh, World of Warcraft, give or take. And so these games, you know, they're RPGs, but they're designed to play like MMOs. And so you get your character, you have your party members, but you don't necessarily control them. Uh, you go on raids, you go to do boss fights, you know, you do all this stuff at least in the original trilogy. And then you can... And then in the game, they have all the features of... Because, you know, these characters are not locked in the game. These characters can still leave. But you have all the access, like you have uh, bulletin board systems, you have forums, you have email. And so you can access all these things in the game. And so the game plays out, you know, you're playing out in this game world, but occasionally you'll get emails from other players and they'll say, hey, meet me here and stuff like that. So... Uh, so it is kind of interesting because you're, you're playing through it, It's yeah, it's like an RPG, but you're playing the MMO. It's so it's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I've been looking forward to this one for a long time. I really liked the original show and I always wanted to play the original trilogy and I never got around to it. And when I found out that they were uh, doing the remaster of this trilogy, I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to pick this up. And they said that if sales were good, they would probably do a remaster of the original trilogy as well. Uh, however, they have not done that yet. So, uh, but yeah, this game originally came out in 2017, I believe. So, you know, when I got it, it was already two years old, and then I haven't played it since then. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the idea that they combine three games. This is what I think they should do more when they do these remasters. It's, it's kind of like this or the Uncharted collection, where you take multiple games together and just put them in a pack, you know, so you can kind of yeah, play through the whole go thing. To Humble Bundle, then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can see here they're, they're listing out all the different games in the franchise. <laughs> uh, so, which, yeah. yeah. I see it's a Bandai Namco, so already very good label. You know, yep. that's a mark, mark of quality. Uh, you said that this is a remaster of the second trilogy. Do you need to know the basic story of uh, the first trilogy? Or is uh, that okay to just start the helps. second trilogy? It helps, eh? It helps. If you... If you you don't need to, but for example, uh, they'll show in the trailer, there's kind of this, uh, it's kind of like a shadowy looking figure. And if you have played the original trilogy, you would know that that is, looks, it, it, so basically all the characters are different classes, uh, but you would know that class is basically the thief class, but specifically that is a corruption of the main character, that one right there that you're looking at. That is a basically a corrupted version of the main character from the original trilogy. So the original character was Kite, and I think in this one it's called Dark Kite. But basically because Kite and his crew defeated whatever entity or whatever was you know corrupting the system, it figured I will just copy those characters and then create my own copies of them since they defeated me. If I can yeah, mimic them, yeah, I'll be stronger. So it, it's it's kind of using corrupted versions of the characters from the original game. So if you've played the original one, you'll appreciate it more, but you don't need to to understand what's going on. Yeah, basically you'll just miss some Easter eggs and reference maybe. Yeah, you're just missing some Easter eggs in a way. Yeah. 